potatoes, great with the meat, mm -hmm. either like mushroom, pepper, even baronet sauce, right. which I've seen actually in the States. I love it. It's a little surprising you're making me think we don't really have a culture of sauce. We have a culture of um, ketchup and mustard, yeah, yeah, yeah. which can be great, but... Um, pretty boring sometimes. Pretty boring, <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so one last slide here, and I'm going to bring it yeah. around again. So this is, I had this incredible ice cream when I was in Iceland, and my flavor was like Turkish pepper. It was like oh, a yeah. pepper-flavored ice cream. Um, so m people might be surprised, though, you're in Iceland, and um, it's a cold place some of the year. It's very dark. What is the role of ice cream in the culture? It's, it's a big ice cream country, I can tell you that. It, there's like two major corporations, companies, mm -hmm. and there are a lot of small stores, like you went to Valtis, which is literally, there's a line there every single day of the year, mm -hmm. and it takes you one hour to get an ice cream, and it's literally just packed. And it was absolutely crowded when I was there, and everybody wanted samples of everything, so exactly. it took forever, and everybody's yeah. so gracious in Iceland. They handed out spoon after spoon after spoon with good spirit. Yeah. Um, so do you think that the ice cream is because it's a treat or it's sugary or it's something to go do and take an hour up in a dark night in Iceland? It's, uh, I mean, it's great, especially in the, in the summertime when the sun doesn't go down. We go 11 p.m. and get some ice cream in the yeah. sun. And it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I don't know. It's a... Uh, we just love ice cream. It, 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 it's not all that unhealthy either. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, I, I think we, some of them are obviously a little sugary, but right. it's at the same time, it's, uh, we are pretty, you know, the trends in Iceland are usually healthy, even with yes. soda, everything. Mm -hmm. We have like hundreds of, you know, we can pick, you know, if it's, I mean, sparkling water mm -hmm. and only like Coke or Diet Coke or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, here it's the opposite. You can't find good sparkling water. Well, it's easy to get double Mountain Dew with extra sugar in it. And <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> nah, it's a, but the ice cream is, oh, it's outstanding. It's outstanding. I was so impressed with it. It was a consistency. It was like gelato, but it was special for Iceland and Mm -hmm. um, it was a real treat, and I also think um, what what is the candy bar? The Reese, Reese bar, the little rice crisp candy with chocolate. Oh yeah, Reese. Yeah. I like those. It's, it's good. Yeah, I ate a bunch of them. Yeah, there's a lot of good, like uh, it's funny our and licorice. You know, we make a lot of yeah chocolates and everything with licorice. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, we we love love good candy I can tell you that I think it's very cheerful um, and I was there during midnight Sun but I can imagine if the Sun didn't rise that these rituals of sugar and sweet and um, and not being too unhealthy are just healing for the spirit at certain times yeah I'm gonna um, end the interview um, we'll end on taking a spoonful of this challenge food from Iceland for me yeah. Yeah. Um, so but I want to ask you about breast, it says here breast milk ice cream, is that a tradition that's been a long-standing one or is it something that's relatively I, new? I think it's just, you know, I guess a couple of people people having a laugh and I mean it was this ice cream festival, it's, I don't know how many years it's been going on but quite a few and uh, one, one year they, I guess they just started that yeah. and made ice cream out of you breast, know, milk. breast milk, donated breast milk. Yeah. I thought that was um, playful and healthy and uh, um, it's very interesting very kind of um, did you try some I did not no yeah. something when you're a pro golfer you can go back and uh, yeah I'll buy a round for everybody else. exactly that's a, that's a good idea it's a goal for the future <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> all right well oh man such a fun conversation I just was I didn't have to leave pretty soon and I have to let you go play golf so um, Ron did bring some, uh, like a yeah, challenge food for me. It's tor torskalisi, it's which is like cod. Cod uh, liver oil, we used yeah. to call this. Now when I grew up, this was sort of a punishment food. Did you know that? Oh really? Yeah, like if you were sick, you got threatened with this. Oh nice. Yeah, so pile it, it up. It, this is, yeah, Icelandic 
old tradition. Yes. And I think this is one of the reasons we, uh, our average, you know, life expect, you know, we live for many years. A long years. time. Yeah, a long for time. For healthy we, oils. And yeah, and healthy food, toughness, you know, it's because it's and back being, in the days. And being kind to one another. Exactly. Oh that's my, key. okay. Oh, that's just perfect right about there. <gasps> and I just swallow this, yeah? yeah. Okay, go proers. Um, this is our toast goodbye. And I'm going to have to, you're going to have to trust me Cheers. by Ron. Cheers, Ron. Scowl. This is a, oh, woo. Pretty good. Mm, man. Oh, 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 that's fishy. It um, really is. That is um, awesome. I'm going to be um, thinking about that spoonful all day long, Ron. Yeah. So in Iceland, we say wow. cheers, scout. Cheers. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing your um, your culture and your conversation in your morning, and it's early. Only my pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Take good care. Yeah, too, thanks.